So here we're going to do a uh, Japanese algorithm for subtraction. Uh, apparently this is also uh, a fairly old Italian algorithm uh, for subtraction. Uh, interestingly, they both developed a very similar uh, way of doing uh, subtraction. They certainly didn't teach each other. Uh, 8 minus 3, uh, we can go ahead and do 5. We'll work from right to left in this case, so we'll do 8 minus 3. And then I, I'd like to do 2 minus 5, but that's going to give me a negative result. And so I can't do that, so I'm going to take what's called the complement of 5. We talked about this a little bit earlier with the ones in, out, ones in uh, algorithm. So the complement of 5 and 10 is 5, because 5 and 5 make 10. So I'm going to add that 5 to the 2 to get 7. And to make up for the fact that I had to take the complement here, I'm going to reduce this uh, upper digit here by 1. So I'm going to knock the 7 down to a 6. And then I get 6 minus 4 is 2 for a final result of 275. So that's 7 right there is 2 plus 5, which was the complement of 5. So let's take a look at another example. So here, um, I try to do 4 minus 6. That will give me a negative result. So I'm going to go ahead and take the complement of 6 out of 10. And so the complement of 6 and 10 is 4. So I get uh, 8 here. So this right here is the 4 plus 4, where this 4 uh, is the complement of uh, complement of 6 and 10. Uh, and then I have to reduce this by 1 to make up for the fact that I had to use a complement here. Now this one, uh, 0 minus 7, well again I'll have to do the complement. It'll be 0 plus 3 because the complement of 7 and 10 is 3. And I'll have to knock that one down by 1 to make up for the fact that I used a complement here. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. So my total result is 438. So here, uh, why don't you go ahead and give this one a shot on your own, and then we'll do it together. So pause the video here. All right, so now um, we can try to do the subtraction by uh, the Japanese algorithm. If I try to do 1 minus 9, I'm going to end up with a negative result, and so I'm going to use the complement. Um, so 1 plus 1 is going to give me uh, 2 because the complement of 9 and 10 is 1. So I get uh, 1 plus 1 here. And I need to knock this down by 1 to make up for the fact that I used a complement here. Now here I try to do 1 minus 7. That'll give me a negative result. And so we're going to use another complement. Uh, the complement of 7 is 3. So 3 and 1 makes 4. I'm going to have to knock this down by 1. And then 8 minus 6 is 2 for a final result of 242. So this one right here is 1 plus 3. So I'll do one more example. So here, I want to subtract uh, 402 minus 384. Uh, you go ahead and do that and uh, pause the video. All right, and now we'll go and try to do it together. So if I try to do 2 minus 4, I'm going to end up with a negative result. And so uh, we'll take 2 minus 4. Is, uh, we'll take the complement of 4 and 10 is 6. 6 and 2 makes 8. This is uh, 2 plus the 6. But I need to knock this down by 1 to make up for the fact that I used a complement here. But I, in fact, can't knock that one down. So I'm going to make this one into a 3 and this one into a 9. I'm going to knock the whole 40 down to a 39. And then I have 9 minus 8 is 1. 3 minus 3 is nothing. And so I'm left with 18 as my final answer.